Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Dominic. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Luckily, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for having me today and uh, discuss about my vaccination experience. Yes, I'm very happy you were able to get it and I'm looking forward to getting vaccinated myself soon. So, um, and thank you for sharing uh, your experience. To start off with uh, why you decided to get the vaccine for COVID-19. Sure. Um, well, I've been waiting the whole year for this. I have been really anxious about getting the vaccination. I've been, you know, like watching the news um, to see when it will come out and when it will be available for uh, the public. And so, you know, like being restricted inside and shelter in place, it makes you more, even more anxious about the vaccine, right? Um, I, I just want to, you know, to protect myself and to protect those um, that are around me and also to help spread, slow down the, um, the cases that we have in San Diego. Because I believe that there's like over a few thousand cases per day as of right now. Yeah. And it, it, the numbers keep growing as the county is reporting data on, uh, on their website, coronavirus-sd.com. Um, yes. it's, it's looking scary, but I'm really glad that there's a vaccine and other treatments uh, more available now than in the last few months. Um, so can you tell me more about how you got to the point of getting an appointment? Yeah, well, when um, the first few weeks was for first um, uh, healthcare providers and healthcare workers, and that was in phase um, 1A, tier one. Um, and so just on January 6th, when I got an email from my supervisor um, telling us that we could uh, be qualified, be eligible for the vaccination now. And so that's when I decided to um, sign up for it. There's a um, link where you can go to on the San Diego county.gov and sign up for the appointments. Um, I was the first one. Um, in my workplace to obtain the appointment because there was um, uh, one appointment available and I just, you know, like took it and I was on a waiting list. Actually, I was on a waiting list first. And then, um, and then immediately after that, I got an email saying that I am scheduled for Thursday, which is last week, January 7. Yeah. Great. Um yeah. And, and it's looking like there are going to be more and more locations that the vaccine will be available as more uh, people get trained on it and get vaccinated themselves. And it's like they can do more that way. Right. Yeah, there's even a super center in uh, Petco Park um, that uh, people can sign up for appointments too if they're in the uh, eligible category, which was also brought in recently by the California governor, right? And it's a drive up exactly. yeah. so you don't have to get out of your car. It is a drive-up um, vaccination, so uh, expect a long delay when you go to the Petco Park. Um, it's, a, it's a long wait. So um, I went to the one in Chula Vista. It was the, uh, the health department in Chula Vista um, that was available for me. Uh, but all the appointments are booked up until um, further notice. And so the um, I think they add a few more locations in the Petco Park one, the one that you uh, mentioned is the Superstation that just came out on Monday. Um, and um, uh, the one in uh, Grossmont area, Sharp Grossmont. And so you can um, look at uh, the locations on the um, San Diego county.gov um, vaccination waiting list. Yeah, and the County News Center um, is also a great source of updates for uh, local uh, vaccination and COVID information. I, I refer to that every day. I get text notifications. Okay, so you got your appointment, you went to the location, you got your shot, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. um, uh, what, what happened after that? Did you experience any side effects? Um. So before you went, make sure you bring your badge um, that to prove that you're from a healthcare uh, uh, place. And so that um, 
Um, after the injection, um, I immediately didn't feel anything, but I was asked to, um, to be observed for 15 minutes to 30 minutes to see if there's any allergic reactions to the vaccination um, before you can leave the site. Um, and after that, um, I went home, everything was just fine. Like three hours later, I would feel a little soreness around the injection site that I had. Um, and, and then by five hours, I was feeling like tired, like fatigue and um, some muscle aches. And so, and then by, you know, midnight, I was like having headaches, um, like pounding headaches and uh, really sore arm. And, um, and then I had to wake up a few times um, at night. Um, and then I had cold sweats and a little tummy ache. Mm. Um, so, so that's, that was, uh, more severe on the first day than I had on the second day. And then the third day, by the third day, um, all the symptoms went away. Um, no more headaches, no more muscle aches, no more uh, tiredness. And then, but I still had a little soreness around the injection site. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, after that, I, I felt fine. Um, you know, I didn't feel anything other than, you know, back to normal again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so for those three days, would you say that it was worth it to get the vaccine, uh, even despite the symptoms? Yeah, I would say that is definitely, you know, like worth getting the vaccination. It's just like, like any other flu shots that you would get. You're like, if you react to the flu shot itself, then you would feel the same with this one. Oh, okay. And um, I, I've heard that there's some like very rare other serious side effects. Um, but uh, if, if people are sensitive to vaccines, um, we just want to encourage everyone to check with your healthcare provider and, and, and make a decision uh, with them about what would be the best thing for you, right? Yes. Um, and it is recommended uh, by CDC that you sign up um, with V-Safe, safe, I'm sorry, V-Safe. Um, so it's V-Safe altogether dot cdc.gov and so you can report all of your symptoms and they will actually text you to ask how you're doing and um, to monitor your um, reactions your allergic reactions to the vaccine mm. that's good to know um it um i always like feeling like there's a team of support around me and my healthcare. So having an app to refer to like that, that I think was a good idea. Um, and then also, okay, so it, it can take some time for immunity to build up in the body after getting the vaccination, right? Okay. Um, so how are you keeping yourself safe uh, until then, even after getting the yeah. Um, it is said, um, you know, even if you get the injection, um, you are still able to get the virus and you are also able to spread the virus to other people if you were ever contracted the COVID-19. So it is recommend that, recommended that you wear a mask um, and still practice the physical distancing six feet apart. Um, sanitize your hands as much as possible if you um you know like go out touching surfaces um you know continue to keep yourself you know sanitized yeah so following the the public health order the the yeah. standard guidelines for uh, prevention and minimizing spread um mm -hmm. yeah it's this is such a strange virus that um you know can can be spread even without any symptoms and so um yeah, and, and keeping in mind people who have been vaccinated can still spread it without symptoms without knowing it. <laughs> so it's like, uh, it, it's it's a good uh, safety measure, uh, but not a complete 100% um, fix. But I'm, I'm still really happy that we have this. Uh, so yeah, thank you for, for sharing your experience. And um, are you scheduled to get your second uh, dose of the vaccine? So I had Moderna uh, uh, brand 
Okay. And so I am scheduled 28 days out um, until I can get the second vaccination. But if you were to get Pfizer um, vaccination, then it is uh, recommended that 21 days. Did you get to choose between the two types available? No, you do not get to choose between the two types. Um, whatever is available at the, um, the site okay. uh, that you're getting your both vaccination, like, yes. Both are like 95%. Um, the, the effectiveness is the same between the two is what right. I, so that's yes. <laughs> so I'm lucky just whatever is available for me. Um, I can't be, you know, picky about, you know, what's vaccination available for me, but it, it is good to read up on, um, between the two vaccinations, Pfizer and Moderna to understand what you're getting. Um, but I'm just lucky to, to get, to get vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll have that same mindset too. <laughs> yeah, just have to find, yeah, the same mindset that you're going to get vaccinated. It doesn't matter what brand, okay. as long as you're getting vaccinated. Yes. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much. And, um, and, and thanks for working with me uh, in, in providing COVID-19 information and resources to the rest of our uh, neighbors in San Diego County. I, I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for having me. And um, I, well, if you need me, I'm available. If anyone need, um, you know, like any information, I am available to answer the questions as well. Okay, me too. <laughs> and we'll share our contact info. <laughs> All right, thank All right, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have a good day. Bye, Dominic.